guys uh, welcome to our uh, next video on the playlist uh, google earth engine for the beginners in today's video we will learn about how to export and satellite image uh, into our own drive how we can download it and uh, use it in other gs software such as qgs or arcgs so uh, let us start uh, today's video by uh, importing a satellite data uh, as usual uh, we are using our sentinel 2 data harmonized uh, multispectral instrument uh, level 2a data and rename it as uh, S2. So we are taking an example of any region of interest uh, and uh, apply them a true color composite uh, for the visualization and we'll see how to export them. Uh, so it's a basic for uh, all. So let us uh, create an region of interest uh, at any place uh, near India. So draw a rectangle now. Okay open the settings and uh, rename it as region of interest and the uh, geometry let it be a future collection and uh, id let it be one and uh, click ok so region of interest is also created uncheck our geometry so you can see our region of interest is imported as a feature collection and we have our sentinel 2 data which we have to export to our region of interest so let's create an variable as image and uh, filter it out in order to reduce its size and uh, clip it to our region of interest so select the sentinel 2 data uh, filter to boundary using the filter bounds to roi and also filter to date to the latest 2024 January to 2024 let's say October we'll take till October and uh, use uh, the median of it and we can also filter the cloud cover uh, before applying the median function so filter the metadata open uh, satellite data to see the image properties and uh, copy the cloud pixel percentage and paste it in the filter data which we have to filter now and give the arguments uh, cloud pixel percentage should be less than say one percent you can also give the lesser values uh, but if the data is not available for our region of interest and it will give an error so i'm taking one percent and uh, clip to or region of interest using dot clip function so let us uh, visualize the, our data set using the function map to add layer so we are adding the image and uh, define the visualization parameters so set the bands to uh, red sorry blue red green and uh, blue okay minimum maximum value uh, will set in the layers panel and rename it as a true color composite so click on that so here you see our layer is loading Uh, since our region of interest is much bigger it's taking some time so let's open the settings now our band combination uh, for the rgb is red green and blue uh, which is for true color composite and for more information on the bands and uh, their combinations so you can watch my previous video or uh, you can search in the google so stretch the range uh, of the spectral reflectance to 100 percent and click on the apply so yeah, here you can see the true color composite is loading now. Uh, you can switch to satellite mode. Yeah. So uh, this is our true color composite image for the region of uh, interest which I have created. Now I have to export uh, this image uh, to my drive. So let's use the function export so this is the function which is used to export an image so we are exporting an image so dot image we are exporting to drive so dot to drive so these are the three functions which we must use and uh, open the brackets uh, 
you can uh, use control plus space button which will give the default uh, uh, options uh, which we have to give in order to export so the image i want is the image only because my variable name is image only do not get confused you can change the variable name uh, to anything in my case it is image only so description you have to give uh, for the file name i will give it as true color composite okay so the folder if you have created any folder in your drive you can specify that folder so if you don't have any kind of folder uh, created earlier uh, then you can uh, leave it blank or uh, you can just delete and the file name prefix uh, dimensions and all it's not required uh, we need a region so which is our region of interest which i have imported and created earlier and scale is also must so the scale uh, is 10 meter uh, because our satellite data is uh, of 10 meter resolution uh, you can see 10 10 10 so most of the visible and near infrared brands are in 10 so uh, instead of downscaling them uh, let it be uh, 10 meter only so you have to specify the crs also so let it be if you don't specify the crs it will go to default dpsg uh, 4326 uh, which is uh, uh, default in the google earth engine uh, if you don't want that you can uh, give any other uh, coordinate reference system so i will give 3857 uh, if you want or you can simply give uh, 32643 uh, which is specifically for india and uh, crs transformation this max pixels uh, they are all not required but if you want uh, you can give the max pixel value as uh, uh, 1 uh, is to the power 13 you can give 10 you can give 9 so anything you can give i am giving for the higher resolution and uh, the file definition file format uh, this all all uh, will be taken default uh, by the earth engine so let's close the brackets and run so yeah uh, here you can see in the task tab uh, my true color composite is initiated uh, for the export uh, my coordinate reference system is 32643 which i have given and the scale is 10 meter per pixel and uh, folder uh, as i told earlier if you have any kind of folder uh, which created earlier you can specify so i'm not giving any kind of argument uh, for giving the uh, directions for folder and uh, let the file name be tcc only and the file format is taken by uh, google earth engine by default as a geotiff uh, if you're exporting any kind of vector it will be a table or a csv file so those are the options uh, so let's give run so yeah uh, my task is running now uh, it, uh, less than one minute has been done uh, after i gave the task to run to export my image to drive so let's see how much time it takes uh, since i have specified the maximum pixels to be exported uh, it must take a less time still loading so guys it's taking uh, more time uh, because uh, since our region of interest is uh, uh, larger so let us create a smaller region of interest uh, by deleting our earlier region of interest so let's import a geometry So now you give run. So the task is came again. So let's give the run. Now it should uh, happen at a much faster rate. So as you can see, it uh, takes more time uh, because I have given the half of Southern India um, for uh, exporting. So till the time it export, uh, let's uh, visualize uh, the true color composite of our band. Yeah, you can see the much of the paddy fields, uh, the barren lands, and uh, the built-ups in the white color can be seen. So it's 
estimating uh, less than one meter to export this. So as yes, guys, uh, you can see our uh, TCC image has been exported. So let's uh, check our uh, drive uh, in order to see uh, whether the image has been exported or not. So yeah. Here you can see it is uh, exported in the form of a TIFF file. So uh, you can uh, download it uh, at any time or from your drive and uh, you can have it in any other JS software such as QGIS and RGS and uh, uh, you can uh, do further analysis. So that's it for today guys. Uh, thank you for watching.